Hopefully I can be the next best singer, you know, with Demi's help and everything. Thanks, girl. Nobody's gotta know. Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Ellie Fitz, and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. So you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, my song Secret is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, and everything else. So make sure you buy a stream and download today because it's a bop and more music is on the way. Anyway, now that that self promo is out of the way, I'm ready to jump on in some episode. Let's see if Demi is my true friend, if she's really trying to help me out here to become a famous singer. Like she really, I think she is. That's my girl. All right, so since I'm dumb and forgot to hit screen record on my phone, I did not record this episode of episode. I'm so mad at myself and I'm so sorry guys. But I can't just like leave y'all hanging so I'm gonna give you a recap of what happened in the last episode. Good thing I didn't read two or else y'all would have uh, missed out on two episodes. So let me just let me just tell y'all what happened. All right, so we started in LA. It you know showed the Hollywood sign and everything. So Anaya and I were sitting there like, oh my God, we're about to have a meeting with an agent that Demi Lovato was hyping me up about. And my character was freaking out about it. And Anaya was like, chill. You got this, chill. And as you guys know, we don't have a place to live or a car or anything. We're just here in LA at this meeting that's about to happen. So then we go to the waiting room and we're sitting there in the waiting room. My character is freaking out again like Anaya, I need to impress her. Oh my God, I'm very scared. And I was like, grab a magazine, you'll be okay. And so I was sitting there freaking out. And as my character was freaking out, we see a bowl of jelly beans being thrown. And at first I thought that we knocked them down. I'm like, we're already messing up the agent's lobby. Like, we're a mess. But it wasn't us who knocked over that bowl of jelly beans. It was actually this guy named Dante. Dante DeMarco, I don't, I think that was his name. I can't remember since I didn't scream record. But Dante was mad. He threw the jelly beans because the bowl of jelly beans was supposed to be just blueberry jelly beans. I don't know why that's his thing. He said, I don't know, his Wolverine, his spirit animal Wolverine loved the blueberry jelly beans. And I don't know. He walked up to us and was like, you understand me, right? And my character was like, understand you. Dante was like, yes, you understand that I only like blueberry jelly beans. And I was just kind of like, yeah, yeah, I do. And Dante, I guess he's super famous. He said that he liked me and I would go far in life basically. And then the agent came downstairs and said, next time you come around, we will have those blueberry jelly beans for you. And he was like, yes, you will. And you'll also take care of this one, talking about me. And I was like, oh my God, Dante DeMarco actually likes me. And then the agent called my name and was like, Ellie, it's time for you to um, have this meeting. And I was scared. I was like, okay, it's time to do this. I go up to Anaya and I'm like, Anaya, are you coming with me? Anaya said, and miss out on what Dante DeMarcus is talking about? Nah, girl, you'll be fine. And so I had to go into this meeting alone without my best friend, which is cool. I guess she's talking to Dante, it's fine. So I go into the agent's office. And the agent basically tells me, Demi's been talking a lot about you, but like, I need to know, can I trust you as one of our new artists? I chose the witty answer and I also chose um, to be quirky, I guess. And I was like, I don't know, sticking to my roots really makes me be able to relate to fans. And she was like, okay, well, yes, I'm glad that you mentioned the fans because without the fans, you wouldn't be here today. And I was like, you dang right about that. And so then my character was like, so does that mean you're gonna um, sign me? And the agent was like, nah, hold up, babes. I didn't say all that. Now, then the agent, she asked me, do you know Fiona's radio station? I think it was like 97.5 FM. And Allie, me, was like, yes, I love her. She said, basically, they're looking for a new star song to play on the radio station because Dante DeMarco, that one guy I was talking about with the jelly beans, he didn't want to release his single on the night of a full moon because of his spirit Wolverine animal. I don't know, he's weird, but he didn't want to release this song. And so the agent was like, I need you to write a song by this Friday. I was shook. My character was like, excuse me, but I took that challenge. I was like, I'll do it, I got this. And she's like, if you make the top 40 charts with this single by Friday, then I'll sign you. So that is my challenge. So after the meeting with the agent, I went back to talk to Anaya to let her know about everything. I was like, Anaya, look, we got a couple days to write this song 
and it's gotta be a hit. It's gotta hit the top 40s on the charts. And Anaya was like, that's no problem, we got this, it's easy. She's always there to back me up, but I'm, I'm scared. So I was like, girl, what do we do? We don't even have a place to live yet. And Anaya was like, hold that thought, sweetie. I will go find us a place to live while you go call your boy because you can't make any more excuses because you're in LA now. Remember what Alex said? When you get to LA, we can rekindle the relationship. Well, he didn't say that exactly, but you know, that's what he meant. So I was like, all right, fine, I'll call Alex. So I called Alex, he answered. I told him that I live in LA now and like, <laughs> We can hang out and stuff if he wants to. He was super excited. But I told him it's gonna be like a couple days before we do that because I need to write a hit single that's gonna hit the top 40 charts and I don't have a studio or a place to live. But guess what? Alex came in clutch. He said, listen, I have some contacts with the studio that um, Maria did her single at and I can get you in on one condition. I was like, well, what's that one condition, buddy? He said, if you let me take you on a date, so not only do we get this studio time because of Alex, but we also get to go on a date with Alex in the next episode, probably. So I was happy. Allie was like, yeah. And then Anaya comes back and she's like, girl, so how, how did things go? I said, things went swell. Not only did I find a place to record, but I'm also gonna go on a date with Alex. I told Anaya and Anaya was like, guess what? We got other good news too. And I was like, well, what's the good news? And Anaya said, I found two places that we can live. She showed me a nice apartment and then she showed me a dumpy apartment. And she was like, okay, so we can either get this nice apartment and have a poopy car or get this ugly apartment and get a nice car. And then she showed me the cars. One car was red, it was like a convertible, it was cute. Then she had this old beat up car and was like, you choose, it's up to you. Or we can have both. And so you know me, it was a gold choice. I chose to have both. We're gonna have the nice apartment and the nice car. So the next scene shows us driving in our nice car, we got it. And I finally popped the question to Anaya. She thought I was proposing to her, but I was really asking her to be my manager. I was like, Anaya, here's my proposal. She was like, you're proposing to me? I was like, well, I'm proposing for you to be my manager. And she was like, for real? And I was like, yes, girl, like my legit manager. She's like, does that mean I get to split the cupcakes? That's exactly what she said. And I was like, girl, you are something else. But yes, Anaya is officially my new manager now, y'all. We got a new car, we got a new apartment, but here's the thing. On the radio station, we heard uh, Fiona's, you know, 97.5 FM that my agent was talking about. We heard her radio station. She said, the newest hit single will be played right up next. And guess whose single it was? This is basically our competition. We need to beat this single to be able to get signed. This single was Maria's single. You know, the backup singer for Demi Lovato, the one that we don't like. Yeah, her single is the single that we have to beat in order to get signed. So, this next episode should be very interesting. And that was the end of the episode. I promise, I didn't leave nothing out. But because I didn't press screen record, I feel bad. <laughs> so I owe you guys another episode on Wednesday. I'll just play episode instead of doing something different because I, I messed up and I can't go back. Like episode will not let you replay an episode. You gotta replay from the very beginning and I ain't trying to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was short, but like I'm, I didn't press screen record. That's my bad. But I hope you got the gist of what happened in the last episode. So you'll be ready for the next one on Wednesday. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step. Excuse the way I look, but y'all wanna see one of the stupidest things I've ever seen on the internet today? Look at this. Why is she eating with the spoon upside down? Turn it around. Why? What? Bruh. Susie, what are you?